Hey guys, NV here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own sepia color tone. Now, I already have a photo loaded in Photoshop, so I'm going to go straight in to Photoshop. And if you don't have one to follow along with, just download this photo from the photographer from the link below this video. Now, right off, what I want to do is create a new layer. Tap the end key. Nope, wrong key, sorry. Control and shift key. Tap the end key on our keyboard. And we're going to name this vignette. We do not have to add a vignette. This is going to be an experimental in case I want to include it later. Okay. And in mode, I'm going to say multiply. Fill with multiply neutral color, which is white. And click OK. I'm going to put this in a folder also by holding the Alt and Shift key, clicking on this folder. I'm going to name that vignette and press Enter. Okay. I'm going to right click on that and convert to Smart Object. Go up to the filter menu, click on that and lens correction. We're going to keep this section completely as it is and go to custom. Now in settings, we already, I already have my first vignette. I showed you how to create a while back. If you do not see it there, you can go to the manage icon right here. Click on that and say load or select load. And it should be right here. If it is not, you can copy the vignette values right here. In the amount input field, you can negative 90 and midpoint plus 45 and click OK. Now, I'm going to set the opacity to 60. And I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that for right now. I just want to keep this here just in case I want to add it later, OK, or include it. So now what I want to do is go ahead and add another folder. I'm going to alt click and click on this folder. And I'm going to name this sepia color tone and at the bottom of the layers panel I'm going to click on the fill and adjustment layer and go to hue saturation and right up here in preset select that and select sepia and there's your sepia go back to the layers panel though and what I'm going to do control alt shift at the same time and tap the E key on your keyboard this will create a merged layer of all of our uh, of our photograph and I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and name it Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to right click on that and convert to Smart Object as well. And I'm going to go up to the Filter menu one more time. Go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. And, uh, well, 5% is not bad. I might actually keep it at 5 and click OK. And I'm going to uncheck that for right now. Hide that layer by selecting the eye. Click on this hue and saturation. Double click on that. Name it sepia. Now what I want to do is blend that. Whoops. What I want to do is go ahead and blend that into this photograph. Okay. I'm going to hold the alt and shift key and tap the C key on our keyboard. See that? Similar to when we did the eye. Remember when we were doing the eye color, I went from normal to color okay now if you watch this right here this area right here when I go back to normal mode I'm gonna hold the alt and shift tap the end key on our keyboard this brings it back to the blend normal mode okay now watch this photo this area right here I'm gonna hold the alt and shift key again tap the C key on the keyboard it blends it into the natural contrast of the photo like the highlights and shadows and that's what I like. That's my own method. And this is how I prefer to blend my sepia into the photographs rather than keeping it normal. I don't like it normal. That's just me. I like it on color. So it blends naturally into the contrast of the photo. So that being said, I want to go ahead and select this Gaussian blur layer and show that again by selecting that eye. It is a little blurred, but we're going to fix that. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. Now what I want to do is blend that to a screen. So I'm going to hold the Alt and Shift key and tap the S key on my keyboard. It's a very bright right now, but that's okay. I'm going to clip this Gaussian blur layer into the sepia layer. So I'm going to do that by holding the Control Alt key and tapping the G key on the keyboard. Now, if I hide this layer, see the lighting, how it's got a, like a, a natural white balance type of feel to it. And I love that. So that's my style of how I would do it if I were to do this. 
and let's go ahead and check that check on uh turn on the vignette layer real quick and see how that looks yeah let's move that above the other layer sepia color tone by holding control and the open bracket key on the keyboard not too bad what i'm going to do though is tone this down i think even more let me get a zoom out here real quick just wanted to look at it and let's say who's at 60 let's try let's try 50. yeah i think 50 is perfect for that so i'm going to keep the vignette on i believe yeah i'm going to keep it on and we're going to keep this just like it is because i like where it is and call that good we are going to save this though so i'm going to go up to file and save as and i want to name this my first sepia color tone and click save and okay and again i want to save this as an image as well file save as jpeg and click save and okay and there you go it's a very easy effect but i like my own style of sepia everybody has their own preference but this is what i prefer and i'm going to go ahead and wrap things up and until next time i will see you in another video